Let's go over to Ajay Singh, the president of Boxing Federation of India for his first reaction. Sir, your first reactions first. Of well, course, absolutely delighted and so, so proud of Lavlina. I think uh, she has done our sport boxing, uh, her state, Assam and all of India proud with her achievements today. And uh, she's now in the semifinals. Uh, of course, uh, you know, I just had a very long conversation with her and she has assured me that she will do her utmost uh, to ensure that she gets a gold in this Olympics. Do you think uh, that uh, first round when she took a lead, that confidence really helped her to springboard to success and, uh, you know, lead the second round 3-2 and finally win it 4-1? Uh, you know, I think uh, Lavlina is uh, a fearless boxer uh, and she is uh, symbolic of uh, this young, uh, uh, new and, uh, you know, uh, aggressive India. Uh, and uh, these kids, uh, you know, they have very little fear. So. They they fight uh, like, uh, you know, they, they, they are born to win. And uh, Lavlina is one of those boxers. And I have no doubt that she, she will go really far in her career. Hopefully, she, she gets a gold medal for India. Now, as a president of Boxing Federation of India, I'll have to ask you this question. Uh, you, f you sent a very strong team of nine boxers at the Tokyo Olympic Games. Um, and we've seen the way they have boxed. It's not just winning it's about the way they have put up the fight how have you you know kept this group together in this very tough period of five years when we had covid we had a lot of other uh, you know upsets and particularly these guys couldn't practice for a very long time yeah absolutely i think uh, you know we lost out a lot uh, you know covid has really cost us in terms of our ability to prepare and to practice uh, but you know uh, I think boxers around the world have, have faced COVID. Uh, so we cannot use this really as an excuse. Uh, what we've done is that over the last four or five years, uh, Indian boxing has moved up uh, significantly. We were ranked uh, in the 30s uh, four years ago, and today we are ranked in the top 10 uh, in the world. And I think uh, uh, the important thing is that all of us have worked as one team India, the Ministry of Sports, the Sports Authority of India, uh, Boxing Federation of India. Uh, and uh, uh, clearly, you know, what we have done is uh, is a preparation for 2024 and 2028. If you look at the performance of the youngsters, the youth team, as well as some of the young people on this team, uh, you know, they, they, they have fantastic potential. There's no reason why India should not be in the top two, three boxing nations of the world. Uh, so we will continue to work towards that. And I'm delighted with today's performance, but there's a long way to go. You know, what really stood out for me um, today uh, when I was watching Lavlina's bout, it's not just her height, but she's nimble-footed. The way she was dominating the bout, even the last one, uh, would you say that's something that comes from her training in kickboxing? Uh, I think I think all of it. It's, it's Ultimately, it's mental attitude. You know, a lot of our boxers have the skill. but uh, And a lot of our sports persons, in fact, have the skill. But I think sometimes it's the mental strength uh, which is uh, uh, somewhat lacking. And I think all of us together as sports administrators uh, need to focus on, on that piece. In the case of Lavlina, she's, she's absolutely fearless. Uh, but we need to create that uh, mental strength uh, for our sports people. Um, interestingly that you mentioned about mental strength and this time around for the first time perhaps IOC has mental health as a part of its playbook for the Olympic Games. You know when we talk about Lavlina's story there was a period when she was mentally not uh, in the place. How? What really has it taken for the Boxing Federation and entire fraternity to get her back into the Olympic zone and today put her on the podium? Uh, I think, uh, you know, ultimately it comes from the boxer herself. Uh, the, that inner strength has to, she has, the boxer herself has to find that inner strength. Uh, I think all we can do as administrators, as the Federation, as the Sports Authority of India is to be supportive. And that's all that we've tried to do. We've tried to provide to our boxers every single thing that they needed, whether it was match practice, whether it was counseling, whether it was, uh, you know, nutrition and good, you know, uh, the best of coaching and training. Uh, that's what we can do. Our job is to facilitate. Our job is not to obstruct. You know, we need to provide the very best uh, for our sports people uh, in boxing and in, in other sports and the boxers themselves. There's a lot of, you know, so many of our sports people have that hunger. They have that drive. They come from backgrounds where they need to, uh, to prove themselves, to make a point 
to make a make a name for their families and their communities mm-hmm. i think we just need to facilitate that and uh, that's what we've tried to do and hopefully we'll show uh, better and better results uh, in the time to come well those are the celebration shots uh, on your screen from her village uh, mrs singh i'll have to really ask you at this point having won this medal when she comes back i have spoken to a lot of other uh, you know medalists from the games who say that after the games are over they experience a period of lull it's very difficult to motivate themselves to go for another medal um i think the role of the federation role of the people around her now comes in to perhaps you know give her that kind of motivation to stay in shape and box for another medal in paris isn't it oh certainly i think uh, she's a young boxer uh, and uh, she has a long way to go and i said to her today that look this is just the beginning please don't uh, think that you've done whatever you set out to achieve in your life there's there's many many achievements you need to be the greatest boxer in the world and and that's what you have to fight for it's it's about you and it's about your legacy it's about your country so so we will continue to motivate her uh, and and i'm sure she, she's a very strong and motivated girl so i have no doubts uh, that uh, she will just stop at this one medal one final question before we let you go what are what is planned by the boxing federation of india now for her what are the kind of uh, celebrations that you will have in store for the girl look, uh, uh, when she comes back look look we will celebrate of course we must celebrate all achievement and hers is a particularly uh, wonderful achievement uh, but like i said there is a long way to go we we have a long career path ahead uh, for her and uh, you know while we will celebrate and the country will celebrate i think it's important uh, that uh, uh, that she remembers that this is just the beginning Well thank you very much sir for joining us on the broadcast and sharing your thoughts on this big win that we've had uh, this morning and of course she has assured herself of a medal at the Olympic games we still don't know what is the color going to be even if she loses in the semi finals lovelina will come back with a silver medal thank you sir